Now we're back in the kitchen and today we're focusing on starter options for Christmas Day, which apparently is coming up. Tara yes. Walker, author of Good Food No Stress, has stayed with us. Tara, that was delicious earlier on. What have we got to follow that up? Yes, with? we've got mini Yorkshire puds with some leftover roast beef. Oh, all right mini then. Mini Yorkshire yes. puds. Yeah. Very good. Right. So, first thing we need to do is make the batter. Very, very simple to do. We have some um, flour and milk. Just so this whisk is just it up. A Yorkshire pud. Exactly. Recipe, and in fact, small... do you remember a while ago I made toad in the hole on the oh, show? Yeah, yes. Yeah, and um, it actually. It's the same batter. Same batter. Yeah, so okay. if you have my same book, batter. the recipe's there in the, for the toad and the whole batter. And then my two simple, eggs, um, really, really it? simple. Yeah. 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 Tell you what, a batter be good, though. <laughs> well, you've given Simon uh, two starters. He, he was expecting the main course. <laughs> well, yeah, it is he, he, starter. Yeah, the Yorkshire pudding probably more up your alley. Yeah, yeah, I could only eat about nine of them, though. <laughs> That's enough for many ones. So there's my two eggs got in, and I have some salt. Keeping the Louth team, this is a team. Team. The, the team. <laughs> yeah. um, I have some Oriel sea salt, which is also from Clarehead. The Loud team are in Division 4, you know that? No, I don't actually. I don't really know much about that there sort of go. thing. It sounds about Loud salt, but yes. Loud football. They got promoted in the first <laughs> Right. So, I have some oil in here. Now, this is not really, we had a nutritionist Heather on the show earlier. It's not really in keeping with what Never Heather mind, said. Heather. No. So, <laughs> this is kind of a Christmas indulgence, okay? I'm actually so, drinking Heather's uh, coconut water. Ah. Mm -hmm. Very refreshing. He uses glue. Carry on. <laughs> So we need to rest the batter for a little while, okay? So I have one that I made earlier. You want to try and rest it for at least sort of half an hour to an hour if you okay. can. So What does that do? Uh, just it just lets it kind of settle down. So what we want to do is, I have a good bit of oil in the bottom of here, like at least a half a teaspoon in this mini okay. muffin tin. And it's really, really hot, so it almost starts to deep fry right. in the oil. But that's what gives us a nice crisp. that with normal? Yeah, absolutely. Well. Yeah, the trick, is to, get, yeah, the trick yeah. is to get that screaming hot, though. That oil needs to be screaming Yeah, exactly. Hot. And also, just by the way, I'd rather see a few little lumps like this in my batter yeah. than overly whisk it and have it really smooth. Yeah. Because the lumps will disappear, but if you have it overly uh, whisked, you nearly kind of activate the, the gluten and it becomes a bit bready. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you don't want to do that. So let's get those do into the oven. you want that nice crisp outside? Exactly, like, exactly. Nice hot oven, Tara? Yeah, good hot oven. I have it on 200 here, but I actually had it on 220 earlier, so okay. it's good and hot and in how there. how long you cook them for? 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, cool. So here they are coming out. Nice. I just took them out there because they need to cool a little bit before you can take them out of the tin. Good, okay. great. Yeah. And then I have my leftover roast beef from mm -hmm. one of my Christmas cooking classes the other day. And I'm actually just laughing because look at the cup I brought my leftover gravy in. I'd rather be in Termin Feckin, it says on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather so, be in Termin Feckin. I'm sure it's a song, isn't it? <laughs> it probably is, yeah. It probably is, yeah. But what I'm saying is never throw out your gravy. I never throw out. It's only like a few tablespoons in there. Yeah. But you, if you've made a really good gravy, I know. you know. The, the beef, um, Tara, is that a fill, piece of fillet? Yeah, and it was cooked medium originally, medium rare. But obviously, I've just reheated it in the oven a little bit there, just gently, and let it rest again. So it's kind of gone a bit more well done there. But we just pop those on. And because I have the gravy, you don't have to. Yeah. Just pop a bit of gravy I need on. Gravy. Yorkshire's and gravy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Foreign to go together. But sometimes just rocket and lemon juice is nice on their own as well with it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So a little bit of rocket. Or maybe a little bit of horseradish. Lovely. Yeah, horseradish ah. would be lovely. Ah. Or ah. Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard would be nice too. Would you and make your own horseradish now, Tom, or would you just put yeah, it? Yeah, I, I, I go out to my horseradish plant. <laughs> And it's a root. Is it? Yeah. It's a root chicken. Yeah, it's a root. Uh, so, I have uh, a pet horseradish out the back. I milk it. <laughs> you milk it? Yeah, well, don't ask her. It's gone a bit nice crazy. I do like a bit of horseradish, though. Yeah, the no, it's lovely. It is nice. really nice. Yeah, absolutely. And then a few little more leaves of rocket on it. You wouldn't make your own horseradish, would you? No. Oh, you can. It's very easy. Mm. You just grate it. Just grate it, yeah. Liquidise it. Yeah, well, or you can add it to a little bit of uh, reduced cream or a bit of mustard or, you know, you can yeah. use it lots of different ways. And then... What's this, lemon? A little squeeze of lemon, just to perk it up, because obviously the roast beef was kind of, you know, it's not... It's a couple of days old. Well, not a yeah. couple not of days old. It's not its peak. Exactly. So just let it freshen Give it up a bit. A bit of a zhuzh. Yeah. A bit of a gussy up. A bit of a gussy up, yeah, that's our new word. And Zizual. I think that's a really nice way to use Beautiful. up your leftover roast beef. I actually always, for Christmas dinner in our family, because we were always in the food business, my parents were sick of serving turkey and ham. Yeah, of course. Um, so you had roast beef? Yeah, we all, well, really? a Chateaubriand, on a fillet of ah, beef. Yeah, lovely, really, really nice. So that's what this is here. There you go. So, shall we? folks, Who has taste an extra the Tommy has, which means Uncle Si gets to eat. No, he doesn't. Go ahead, Tommy. <laughs> no, seriously, you get stuck in there. Yeah? Happy? Like that? I'll read this bit. No, no. No, no, oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Don't forget. 
Oh. All today's you recipes multitask. are up on our website. Or in Tara's book, <laughs> no, you can. Good Food, you No Stress. Best, but does it work, so does check it, it out. <laughs>